Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, it's been two weeks since the Great North Run's been. It's, it's flown by, I don't believe how quick that it came and then how quick it's gone, but... So I thought with the Great North Run inspiring a lot of people to take up running and also a lot of people who have run the Great North Run uh, to continue the running journey, I thought I'd do a video about things to do post Great North Run. So here is my top five things to do post Great North Run. Belter. Starting off with number one, find a running club. So if you've seen the Great North Run or you ran in the Great North Run and you want to get involved with running more or get involved with running to start off with, find a running club. They're easy enough to find. You can just search online to find your running club. I'll even put a link in the description below for you via England Athletics. I think there's a club finder there that I used. If you find a club, there's lots of incentives. First off is you can get uh, like sort of early access to running events. So like if you've got a membership number, you can get entered into events a little bit cheaper. And you know, in terms of the blade race, you can get your number before it goes live to the general public. So that's a bit of an incentive for you. The other thing is doing different training methods. So different coaches might have different training methods. So you might have run four miles and then a couple of hills during the week. You might do five miles and you know, different hills. It's all different, which is good. I like to believe doing something different in terms of running makes it a bit more positive in terms of training. So there's that as well. There's also making friends. Running clubs are great to not only just distract you from just life for like for two hours or so, but it's also a great way to make friends and catch up. So getting involved with a running club is just a great way to catch up with your mates, make new friends. I know a lot of people who have made best or become best friends through running and running groups. So that's, that's another incentive for you. There's also representing your club at different events. So you've got like relay events and cross country events if you wanna get stuck in with that. There's a number of positives with joining a running club. Number two, the park run is one of the more successful events ever in terms of running. Every Saturday morning at nine o'clock, you will see flocks of people heading towards parks, outskirts of cities, Loads of, I can't even think of other places there would be, but there are so many places that the park run take place, you should totally get involved with it. It's free, all you have to do is register and get a barcode, and then thirdly, don't forget it, because they are notorious for forgetting. All you gotta do is search online for park run, there's bound to be an event near you, check it out, go and do it. Some of the courses are picturesque and beautiful to run, some of them are flat, some of them are hilly, they are perfect for training, and they're perfect to getting started off with running. I see a lot of newbies who are doing park runs and they walk away absolutely loving it. Plus, there's a weekly incentive to try and beat your personal best on the course. Belter. Number three, plan your next running event. Easier said than done after running 13.1 miles or you've watched someone run 13.1 miles and think, I can't be bothered to do another event, it was too much. Or there could be some of you who think, I want the challenge, I want to try and run again. You might not want to run a half marathon distance, you might want to lower the tone a little bit, lower the mileage, so enter a 10k, a 5k, do a park run. So yeah, pick an event, train for it, make sure you train an ample time, don't leave it at the last minute. There's bound to be a flyer or something you've seen on Facebook or online, somewhere on there that you would have seen a past like running event and you fancy doing it. You've got great run events, you've got local events to inquire about. Your club, if you sign up for one, they'll have a fixture list for you. Just ask around, see who knows what in terms of running events. Number four, this one's a bit of an obvious one, but if you're gonna do running through the winter or start running through the winter, you might wanna start looking at winter kit. By this, I mean stuff like high visibility jackets, high visibility tights, high visibility gilets, hats, gloves, stuff like that. The darker nights are kicking in, hence why I've got a light on, where I never used to before. They're coming thick and fast, it's now autumn, so yeah, getting yourself some high visibility stuff is key, purely for safety reasons. You'd be out on the streets where cars are flowing, doing 30, 40 miles an hour. You wanna be seen, so getting some reflective gear, some lights even, I've seen some people get some lights on their arms and legs. They're easy to purchase, um, just search for it online. Just be safe, be safe and be seen. I think the, the hashtag was last year, I did a video of it last year at some point. I might put that you know, somewhere up here for you to check out. Uh, yeah, so just be safe and be seen and just look out for one another. Number five in my list of things to do post Great North Run is you've probably had a break and if you want to continue running or start running, you might want to jump straight into running 10 miles. Nah, ah, 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 ah. <coughs> the 
best thing to do here is just take things easy. Nice and slow, very, very low mileage. I wouldn't go past anything. I wouldn't do anything more than a 5K for a couple of weeks and then just go up from there and then do your own thing. Using the park run, like I mentioned before, is a fantastic incentive to aim for. Just dust off the cobwebs, get the rust out the legs a little bit. You don't have to be speeding along in the park run. Just, you know, get the feel for running again, get used to your rhythm, the feel of the road, just stuff like that. Nice and easy, nothing daft because if you're training for an event or want to do an event in the future and after one run you injure yourself for like two weeks, what's the point? Motivation goes from like up here right down here. So nice and easy, like I said. And that's it, that's my five things to do post Great North Run. What do you think? If there's any points that you think I've missed, let me know in the comment section below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and appreciate it if you did. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hopefully I will see you next week for another video. So yeah, until then, I will see you later.